Okay, guys, um, here we are. Uh, we're going to do Unit 10 in Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Book 2, Review of Lessons 39 through 42 on page 67. I actually had to start this video over because I accidentally um, drew the bar lines on number 2. As though it were 4-4 four, four instead of 2-4, so I just decided to start the video over, so if you see a little eraser marks, that's that's why. Alright, so fill in the correct number. Uh, for number 1, A, 2 16th notes um, equals 1 8th note. And you know that because uh, an 8th note breaks down into 2 16th notes. Uh, 16th notes is the subdivision is one subdivision smaller than an eighth note. Okay. So for this sixteenth note uh, equals a half note, we have to have eight of those. Okay, so if you think about it subdivision wise, half notes subdivide down to quarter notes. Quarter notes subdivide down to two eighth notes. Two and eighth notes subdivide down to two sixteenth notes. Okay. So here we go uh, for C. This is going to be four. You can probably already see that I had written that in before. Um, and again, quarter note subdivides down, breaks down to two eighth notes. Eighth notes break down into two sixteenth notes. And a whole note has sixteen sixteenth notes in it. Remember, that's kind of how. Uh, notes get their names is by how many of them can fit into a measure of 4-4. Four, four. So 16 sixteenth notes fit into one measure of 4-4. Four, four. four quarter notes fit into a measure of 4-4. Four, four. Eight eighth notes fit into a measure of 4-4. Four, four, and so on and so forth. 32 thirty second notes. Okay. For number two, add bar lines and a double bar line to complete the example below. Clap the rhythm. Okay, so here we're in 2-4 time signature, right? Which means there's two quarter notes per measure. So that's going to be eight sixteenth notes per measure is how you kind of have to figure that out. Or just count one E and uh, two E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, that's how we're going to figure this out. Because so here we've got one E and a uh, two E and uh, because each eighth note, each eighth note gets two sixteenth note counts. Uh, I always like to take the smallest subdivision in a piece of music that I'm working on and count that way. In this case, my smallest subdivision here is sixteenth note, so I'm just going to go ahead and count everything as sixteenth notes. So my eighth notes two one e and uh, two e and uh. There we go. And that's our next bar line. Here we've got one E and uh, two E and uh, and there's our next bar line. Quarter notes get four sixteenth notes each, so one E and uh, two E and uh. Draw your bar line right there. Moving on to the second line, we've got one E and uh, two E and uh. There you go. One E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. There we go. And just in case, I'm just going to review it just in case you forgot. Remember, eighth notes have one beam, sixteenth notes have two beams. Okay? If you have two sixteenth notes together, they're beamed like that. If you have four sixteenth notes together, they're beamed like that. Quarter notes just have the stem, they're alone. Two eighth notes together are beamed just by a single beam. You can also combine eighth notes with sixteenth notes, in which case the whole thing's beamed together by a single beam, and then the sixteenth note gets the extra beam. All right. One E and a. Uh. Two E and a. Uh. There's our next bar line. One E and a. Uh. Two E and a. Uh. And we're going to do our double bar line, thick line, and a thin line to finish it up. Okay, 
And now let's just uh, follow the directions. It says clap the rhythm. And I'm just going to maybe just tap it here on my table with a pencil and follow along here. So one, two, one, and two, and one, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E. Apologize, I'm forgetting that we're in two, four. Okay, here we go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, one, E, and a, two, E, and a, one, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a, one. Okay. I'm still counting in 4-4. Four, four. Pretend that didn't happen. And laugh at me while you do this. Okay, so just 2-4, Anthony. 1 E and 1 E and a 2 E and a 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 Woohoo! I did it! Alright. 2 4. Not 4 4. <laughs> okay. Moving on. So for number 3, fill in the correct number. Now instead of notes like we had up here in number 1, we've just got rests. So this is our whole rest right here. You can tell it's a whole rest because the line is on top. I like to think of that as like the surface of the ground, that line there. And this is a hole going into the ground. So I think whole rest for that. And 16th notes for a whole rest, that's going to be 16 because it's the whole measure. Okay, for letter B, that's just two, two 16th note rests go into one eighth note rest. Uh, next one. 16th note rests and quarter note rests. Uh, we have four. Because quarter note rest breaks down into two eighth rests, which breaks down into 16th note rests. And here we've got a half note. The way I remember half notes, because they look kind of similar to the whole notes at, at a first glance, especially when they're on a staff and you've got lines above them and below them. So I always like to think that this kind of looks like a little top hat. And for that, since it's a half rest, we've got eight sixteenth note rests that go into that half rest. I'm just going to take a quick little drink of my water here. Throat's dry. Okay, moving on. Number four. Uh, complete the measures by adding one rest above each row. Clap the rhythm. Okay. So we are in three four for this example and we have to put in the rest respectively. Now, for this, I'm gonna go with our smallest of subdivision based on each measure, okay? So our smallest of subdivision in this measure is an eighth note. So I'm gonna count these as eighth notes. One and two. Th so we have a total of one, two, three, four, five eighth notes. And three, four, we have to have a, a total of six eighth notes, right? So this is going to have to be an eighth note rest here. So one and two and three and. Now here I'm going to think of this as, I'm going to use my sixteenth notes as my subdivision. So one E and, and this is going to be two full beats. So we're going to assume that this is two E and uh, three E and uh, since it's two full beats. And we just have a 16th note rest right here. Okay? Because it has to add up to one E and a two E and a three E and a. Right? That couldn't be an eighth note rest because we'd have too much space, right? Because you can't have one E and a two E and a for your half note and then three E and 